All right, we made it to episode 20, and today we're at Chive Kitchen in Farmington, Michigan. Can y'all believe we've been doing this for 20 weeks so far? Oh my goodness, boy. We've been to Atlanta, we've been to Detroit, we've been to Los Angeles, we've been to Flint. We about to head to Grand Rapids next weekend. Come on, man. And after that, we heading to Chicago. And after, Oh, come on, man. Yo, first off, before we do anything, I love the vibe inside the Chive. They had the music going. They had the atmosphere was right. They had the wine everywhere. They had the little assortment of it, um, stuff that you can buy from the cooler or the freezer, whatever it's called. It was dope in there, man. I really appreciated that vibe. I, I wish I would have uh, been able to sit down in the restaurant, eat and review at the same time, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. So we'll save that for a later date. But I definitely enjoyed the environment inside of Chive. Good job, y'all. That shit was fire. I appreciate y'all being friendly and, uh, and, and fast with the service. So let's see what's going on. All right, so today I got a blueberry lemon basil bar, which is a buttery shortbread crust infused with basil, topped with blueberry lemon filling and a sprinkle of gold dust. I got the Mexican torta, which is a Cinco de Mayo Friday special. It's grilled maple seitan, hot sauce cream, onions, romaine, tomato, and pickled jalapeno on a hoagie bun. I also got a curried quinoa salad, quinoa, cranberries, curry dressing, scallions, and carrot. I also got Michigan Coney Chili, a house-made Michigan chili with red lentils and Coney spices. I also got <laughs> uh, banana pudding, banana pudding, vanilla cookie crust, vanilla frosting, cinnamon dusting. Yo, it's got gold on it. I love gold. That shit hard, actually. Yo, it is dead ass fucking hot out here. It's like fucking 75 or some shit. I'm turning the car on and the AC on and we gonna deal with that shit. We're fucking hot. I might be, I might be 140 pounds down, but shit. Bump the AC up a little bit so you might hear that shit. But I'm fucking hot. The flavor is here. Chive Kitchen, you doing me proud with this first one right here. Hmm. What was in that motherfucker? Hmm. Whatever they did to it, they did that shit. Bro, I could kill this shit. All right, so off rip, we know the curry quinoa salad is fucking crazy. This is good. We're gonna try something else. Man, we've been hitting some fucking spots lately, boy. Just bow. I'm glad the vegan food is starting to elevate everywhere and not just fucking LA or fucking New York or these specific places, but other people are starting to be like, oh shit, we can do this too. Yes, please, please do that shit. And do it as clean and as raw as possible, please. All right, we're gonna try the chili now. I haven't had anything Coney related in fucking like 15, 17, like 15 years I ain't had nothing Coney related. Except for that one time I was on tour with Cat and we stopped in Detroit. I definitely got a Coney dog and that was before I was vegan. Yep, yep, yep. I love what they doing with lentils now, man. Lentils are fucking amazing. You can taste the, the Coney flavor. Uh, the, the, the lentils are fucking outstanding. It's like a, it's, it's, um... <clears throat> It's thick, but it's thin, and it's uh, it's got substance to it. It's not just like a. I know that don't make no sense, but like, it got it got some weight on it. You know what I'm saying? It's got some weight on it. I'm gonna keep it 100. What I'm really gonna do? This is gonna get taken care of. This is fucking phenomenal. Chive Kitchen, boy. Now we're gonna try this golden flaked blueberry lemon basil bar. It's got gold trimmings on it, boy. Yep, yep. I got this one for a very specific reason. I figured it was gonna have an earthy taste to it, which it does, but I wanted to see what they was gonna do with it and they knocked it out the fucking park. This shit is good as fuck. Everything blends well together in this basil bar. I'm impressed. The earthy tones are there. You know it's a blueberry lemon pastry. You know what I'm saying? It's got that, that, oh my God. Look, try this shit for yourself. You can see what I'm talking about. Banana pudding. I ain't had banana pudding in so long, boy. Holy shit, that is good. Yeah, uh, I like it. All right, one left, and that's the torta. It, uh, I don't, I don't know how this is gonna happen, but I'm gonna try to get a decent bite. Uh, 
quick side note i know y'all probably don't give a fuck but this is some of the small things that i'm grateful for now i got my knees kicked up and i'm using them as a as a table or a, a stand for this food so i can hold it i could never do that shit before i'm happy to be able to do this shit i got my knees fucking all the way up here bruh they right here they right like bruh grateful for the change this satan is fire that mexican torta got a little kick on it too very good though so i'm impressed with everything i've had at chive kitchen i will 100 percent be back to try some more of their menu that i didn't get a chance to try today everything was two thumbs up farmington michigan if you're down by detroit check out chive man amazing vegan food so next week we're gonna head down to grand rapids I didn't even know they had vegan food in Grand Rapids, but that's where we're going next week for episode 21. I'm Thomas Jacoby. This is Vegan Food Reviews, episode 20 at Chive Kitchen in Farmington, Michigan. And I'll see y'all next week. Bow. Boy, I really like that shit. Damn. That was some good ass food, boy. And they made like all that shit. Dog. That was a good one. That was a good one. Have you been to Chive? No? You're missing out.